Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. Actually, there are two questions in this single question. The first question is, can I control the speed of the execution in Selenium ID? That's the first question. Second question is, can I pass the test execution in Selenium ID? That is the second question. The answer is yes, it is possible to control the speed of the execution in Selenium ID and also it's possible to pass the test execution in Selenium ID, okay? So how to do that? For that, I'll open the browser, open the application URL and uh, I'll copy this application URL here. Click on uh, Selenium ID, create a new project, do some project name, say record, and then give the application URL I copied from here, start recording. Maximize whatever the activities I will do here that will get recorded here. So I'll just go and click here and say, uh, give my name, Arun Motori, and then I'll select this option. Then I'll click on this button. I'll get an say, okay, that's it. Stop the recording. So these are the some steps I have recorded. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this particular test bit slow. Okay. You see, there's an option in Selenium ID to control the speed of the execution. Okay. I don't want to run the test faster. This is a fastest mode. This is a complete slow mode. Okay. If I go with the complete slow mode, just see how slow the test will get executed. Just click on this run. This particular test will get executed very slow. You see, it's not even loading the page now. It's completely slow. Now it's loading slowly. And slowly it will, uh, you know, do the other things. Like it has to type my name into the text area field. You see, now it clicked inside the text area field. Slowly, it's going to type my name into the text area field. After that, slowly, it will select the option in the drop down field. You see, it selected a drop down field. Now it's going to select the option in the drop down field. You can see that happening, but it is completely slow, right? It's completely slow. You see, uh, still some steps are there. Click. Uh, that alert should come and uh, alert should be verified and all those stuff. So it took a lot of time. That's okay. Now I'm going to, uh, you know, keep it in middle. Let's see how the speed will change. A bit faster it will be compared to previous one. It will be a bit faster. Okay. This is how we can control the execution speed in Selenium ID. Okay. There's an option in Selenium ID to control the speed. Yeah, it will select the option doctor in the and then it is going to click on that button, which will give an alert here. You will not see, be able to see the alert, but you know, the alert will be displayed. Okay. So because Selenium ID comes means alert will not be displayed. There's a problem, but it came actually. So, or if you want to come completely run it faster, then put it in fast mode and just run it. This time you see it is going to run faster, complete fast. Immediately it will type my name. It will select that three option. It will click on that login button. Okay. So that's it. You see it kind of faster. Now, this one question is answered in this uh, interview question, right? Can I control the speed of the execution of the test inside Selenium ID? Yes. Now, can I pass the test execution in Selenium ID? The answer is still is. So I'll just keep it intentional. I'll keep it, uh, you know, uh, kind of slow here and I'll run it. While the test is running, I'll pass the test. Okay. I'll show you how to pass the test. That is how to, uh, I'm not going to stop the test. Rather, I would like to pass the test. Okay. Here, the test steps are running. Now, there's an option here, pass test execution. Okay, I'll click on this, pass execution. Again, if I click, it will resume. Till that, it will not run. Okay, till then, the tests are not going to run. You see, the test execution stopped here. It's not stopped, it's passed here. Okay, so now if I resume means, if I unpass or resume here, the test will run. You see, tests are running. Again, if you want to pass, you can pass it. Again, if you want to run, unpass it, resume it. Okay, the execution will continue. So hope guys you understood how to control the speed of the test execution in Selenium ID and how to pass the test execution in Selenium ID. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.